after asking so many years, um, after two years or so, what's the biggest headache? The problem that I kept seeing was um, people. Everyone was complaining about staff. Hey everybody, my name is Christian Saab and you may know me from the business I'm doing right now, CPG Recruitment. Um, you've probably seen me online with all kinds of different videos and just sharing my story. So I wanted to take a minute today to actually bring you to the playground that caused me to start this business. So for those people who are in their life right now thinking of starting a business, for those who are in a business and trying to figure out what their future is, um, I want to share with you that every day there is something in front of you that will um, direct you to your future. So once upon a time, I had a detailing business called Convenient, Convenient Perfection Mobile Detailing. Why are we at the Yacht Club today? I used to come here and wash these boats that you see right over here and several boats and we'll walk around and I'm going to show you guys and tell you my story. So I um, used to come here and every single week clean cars, clean boats, etc. Now 70% of my customers were business owners. Everybody here in this row, in this row over here, has a business. And at the time I was 24 years old, after I wash a boat, I get invited to sit and have a beer and talk to people that are in business. And I'd learn about what they go through every single day, how their business works. And I was always very curious. I think that's lesson number one, being very curious about other people and just being polite and gentle to just ask about them and what they do and learning from the people around me. That was the biggest thing that I was doing in that detailing business. I always said the asset wasn't the business, it was the contacts that I made. When I sold that business, um, the biggest value I got out of it wasn't the transaction of selling it, the biggest value I got out of it was this Rolodex of amazing people that um, taught me something along the way. Now, along the way, and here, we'll, we'll walk and talk. So along the way, as I met great people, I would, ask three big questions. Question number one is, how did you get into the industry? Um, and tell me that story. I wanted to hear people's stories, how they started doing what they wanted to do. Then it was, how do you make your money? So explain to me the business model. How do you, uh, how do you transact? How does the money flow? So I learned from all these people um, how the world works. I learned about the insurance business. I learned about the construction business. I learned about the manufacturing business. I learned a lot of things. So from there, I'd ask the last question because I always wanted to know the obstacle. What was the biggest headache in that industry? What is it that if I wanted to go and do this business, what was the problem? Now, after a couple of years of asking literally people that were probably walked by a few boats that were customers of mine, um, after asking so many years, um, after two years or so, what's the biggest headache? The problem that I kept seeing was um, people. Everyone was complaining about staff. Everyone was complaining about, I can't find staff. I can't find good people. I can't find, uh, every time I find somebody, it's, uh, I lose them or I work hard for a few weeks to find someone and they end up like this guy where they're dead. <laughs> they lose their staff and their life, life sucks. So. With that said, I started recognizing a problem, a pattern, just by being curious. So for me, the second piece of advice I'd give outside of being curious is look for a problem. And a problem that I then felt that I believed in it. Um, I believed that I could be a solution for it. Now, I, didn't, I knew nothing about the recruitment business. Come on, we're gonna hop onto my boat here. We're gonna sit down and relax and talk. So, there we go, you can see a little bit of nature here. Let me help my camera lady out a little bit. Take a seat. So then the next thing was, if I believed in a problem and I believed I'd be a solution, I didn't have to be the best at it. I actually knew nothing about the recruitment business, but I believed the problem would be there and I knew that it caught my attention and it made me interested. So after being curious, picking out a pattern and finding a problem. From there, I obsessed over it. I obsessed over it for two years before really pulling the trigger of starting the company. I did my homework, I did my research, I talked to people and, and I got more information about the industry. And then from there, 
I was able to start the company confidently. So for those people that are out there right now that are um, wondering what their future might bring, I think my biggest advice I could give to you is just look around you, it's in front of you. Just be curious at first. Be curious and be open to learn, it's free knowledge. And um, you know, for me, by being curious, I was just fortunate that you know, I had one business that had a customer base that gave me a lot of information that taught me, that made me see what the next step was gonna be in my life. For whoever is watching this, whatever time frame you're in, um, use everything around you to direct you to the next place, but take your time talking to people and getting enough information, which will then give you the confidence to make a decision on what's the next path. Um, starting a business, it's not hard. It really isn't. It's just if you're if you truly believe in yourself, um, there's nothing in the world that that could stop anybody. Uh, every entrepreneur I've ever met knows the concept that failure is not an option, um, and failure will never be an option simply because they're invested in their concept and their idea and they believe in it, um, and that they're going to work hard at it. It's going to be hard work, but it's all going to be worth it at the end. So it's just a matter of just being interested and enjoying your day every day, um, and you'll be you'll be fine. That's it. So if you ever want to have a conversation with me, um, you can find me. I'd really like for you to actually visit my website, christiansobofficial.com. Um, you're going to see a lot more of my story and my direct information to contact me is there. Um, be more than happy to give any advice to anybody who's considering starting a business or considering selling a business and going on to the next business um, or even, you know, any coaching of any kind. I'd be more than happy to, to share. So that said, it was nice meeting you. Hey, thanks for watching our content. Listen, if you're running a business and you're struggling to find staff, I want to introduce myself. My name is Christian Saab. I own CPG Recruitment, and I help companies across North America find the people that they need to find. Listen, a great business cannot be built unless you've got great people. You and I both understand that having the right people on your team is so important, and that's where I could come in and help you. So listen, I want you to shoot me a text message. Here's my direct cell phone. Have my number. Reach out to me. I'd love to hear your story and get to know what you're trying to accomplish. And that way, maybe I can help you fix this problem.